I almost just ended the stream real quick. Not bad. Anyways, how are we all doing? Welcome back. Uh, so, as I was saying, um, so last we left off, I said I wanted to redo something on um, for the previous stream. The reason why is because I kind of wanted to stop midway through a cutscene. Well, not really a cutscene, a part that I didn't realize was going to go on longer than it, than I thought it would. And I kind of needed to grind, so I decided, I, I was like, okay, you know, here's what we'll do. We'll, um... Uh, we'll, we'll go back to an earlier part, and then we'll redo it. Uh, so, the thing I needed to do was I wanted to grind out the cabaret quest, as well as working with Kamaki a couple times. Mostly because I wanted some new moves. So we're essentially right back at the same part where we were going to fight Majima. However, a couple things I wanted to do beforehand was I wanted to do some side quests. And as you can see, I grinded out a lot of stuff. And by grind, I mean go to go to restaurants, gorge for like 20, gorge for a good amount of minutes, come back, make a lot of money, come back, eat a bunch of stimulants, Go back to the restaurant and rinse and repeat essentially and that's what I, I did for like two hours I mean of course I was doing like other side stuff and as well and speaking of side stuff is there anything left inside yeah there is there was I forgot yeah there's one mission I saved no for any particular reason it's just I did it because why not I took care of the quest the claw machine mini game it literally it's as you expect the guy the guy starts going oh you got this can you can you come back a minute later can you grab me this i can't get it kiryu can you do it again i know it's like there's a fifth time but can you do it again for me i just want to die me too dower man maybe i should see if he's all right hey is something wrong what is this music they're playing this guy's about to kill himself and they're playing porn music <laughs> the guy in the background he's like i don't want to be part of this shit Nah, it's nothing. Don't go troubling yourself over me. Tell me what's going on. Something that'll help. Sometimes that'll help. I'm just tired. Tired of being who I am. Tired of this life. I screwed up real bad, and it cost me my job. And as soon as the ca as soon as the cast started drying up, my wife walked out on me. I thought about going after her, but I was too much of a freaking coward. Hell, I don't even got the courage to end my pain. If only I could turn my life around. Or maybe just find a shred of confidence. Got any ideas? Pitiful, right? Here I am asking some guy in the streets if he can't even if he can't even turn his life around. My life around. Can't get more pathetic than this. Hmm. Something that would help him change his life. Maybe that's maybe that ridiculous self-help book I got from the counselor counselor check Seki would be just what he needs. Not like I would ever read it anyway. Huh? huh? What's this? Apparently it's one of the most popular books in the country. I don't know if it'll help, but it might be worth giving it giving it a read. Oh. Hey! I've heard of this guy. This is Counselor Seki's new book. I've been looking for a copy for weeks. Hey, um, I'm Yoshida. You are... Kiryu. I can't thank you enough, Kiryu-san. You are the only guy who stopped to talk to me, and now this? My new life starts today. I gotta get home and crack that this baby open. You... So that's apparently the people that get suckered into buying those self-help books. Good to know. Well, he's over here. Do you think he's going to end his life again? Let's go see. 20 bucks says he does it again. He's like, eh, my life's over. Here, here's another self-help book. Yeah, because fuck it. Why not? I put a lot of I put a lot of points into my sprinting as well as getting shit face drunk. So when I get crunked, I could fuck I could fuck some shit up. I was about to say I could fuck. I mean, when I get drunk, I could I could fuck. <laughs> yeah, why not? 
I told you to back off. Mm hmm? Oh. I enjoy these cute little outbursts. Your every breath sets me sets my heart aflame, you know. Oh, he's a creep. I said no. Come on, sweetie. You know the money is no object. Just give me a number and it's yours. A million, five million, or would a hundred million do? I wanna go after I wanna go with you for all for, yeah, for all the cash in the world. Now get your sticky breath out of my face. Young lady! Do you know who you're addressing? You should be honored! I hate people like this so much. Oh, you should be honored of my present. Fuck you. Oh, I know. I... Oh, wait, sorry. This is a different person. Oh, I, I know damn well who he is. A sex a sex star politician who thinks his fame can buy him, can buy him action. Oh. Mika! Oh. It's you? Mm hmm? Keep walking, cue ball. Can't you see that the lady and I are trying to have a conversation? That's... That's... Spit it out, you dunce. Otherwise, move along. That's my wife, damn it! Huh? What's gotten into you? Don't worry, Mika. I won't let this old fogey lay a finger on you. When did you get so confident? It's like you're a different man. <gasps> It seems our playtime has hit a little snag. Mita. Sir? Teach this miscreant what happens when you cross me. Very well, sir. It would be my pleasure. Oh no, he raises his... Wait! God damn, he got, he got shit laid out. Don't worry. How, es how exquisite. <laughs> Look at this idiot. There's more where there's more where that came from. What happened to the tough guy act? Damn it. I can't let this continue. Hey. If you want someone to if you want someone to play play tough guy, I'll oblige. You're you're the guy from the bridge. So our friend has a knight in shiny armor, eh? Hmm? You'll seem familiar somehow. No matter, I'll take you both on. Let's do this. That's just like, yep. I don't know how we switched over here, but yeah, that's cool. Yoshida, set him up for me. Set him up for me, Yoshida. Grab him. Grab him. Yoshida, grab him. Yoshida, grab him. 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 Yoshida, grab him. This is just awkward, but yeah, we're not. Hey! Son of a bitch. Yeah, exactly. I thought we were going to do a cool, like, tag team move, but I guess not. Forgive me, counselor. It seems I was outmatched. Okay, honey. Mika, I... I did it. Oh, come on. You won because of the guy was fighting. I gotta give you credit, though. You stood your ground for me, and I admit it, that felt good. That old perv did not, didn't do nothing to you, anything to you, did he? Nah, I'm fine. Hey! Ain't that, ain't that Seike? The bigwig government author? Typical politician, just another creeps, creepy slime ball. <laughs> How it's truly touching. Oh my god, did she just, she like despawned? Here, I trust this will be enough to ensure that you don't bring the word of this to anyone. Huh? Isn't that a bribe? Oh, no, 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 no. I simply have no need for it. After all, I say in the nation's best. I am the nation. My nation's best-selling book. There is no more to life than money. Ha 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 ha! Come along, Mita. We'll be going now. Yes, sir. Yeah. Just beat up a politician. He'll give you money. Thanks for coming along when you did. I was starting to hound me in a bar. 
and then when it take and, and then wouldn't take no for an answer. I gotta wonder though, where did all that courage came come from? I've never seen you so fired up. Well, I was drowning in my sorrows over on Iwano Bridge when this guy came, when this guy here came and made made some time for me. I admit, I was almost at the end of my rope, but he cheered me up and gave me a copy of that bestseller you unleashed. I ran home, cracked it open, and it turned out the whole thing's a crock full of cliched bullshit. It'll be better off as toilet paper. I practically left my, my ass off by the end. That trash ain't a bestseller quality at all, I tell you what. Got me thinking though. There ain't no rhythm or a reason to life. I just gotta roll with the punches. And if that and if that waste of ink could succeed, then why couldn't I? I felt my confidence came flooding right back. Well, get a load of this. That guy who was creeping on me is is the one who wrote that book. Wait, really? You gotta be choking. I ain't. That pervy old bag of bones was 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 Chancellor Seiki. <laughs> what are the chances? That's a riot. It's cra it's a crazy world we live in. <laughs> Only makes me feel more confident knowing that that windbag struck out all the rich on that BS. I owe you big time, man. This would never would have happened if you wouldn't have stopped to talk to me. Say, would you let me treat you to dinner? I'll pay for it with the stack of cash that the old leecher gave me. Sorry. I got some business to take care of. But you enjoy your dinner with your wife. Good idea. Well, here. I won't be needing this. You take it. He just gave me a gun. <laughs> he just- This guy just gave me a fucking gun, that's all. Yeah, why not? Thank you again. Bye. You two watch each other's backs, okay? See what happens when you help a guy from stop himself from trying to kill himself? He gives you a modified gun. Ain't that pretty cool? Remember, folks, you see somebody out there sad on- You see somebody sad out there? Make sure to lend a helping hand. They'll probably give you some cool shit afterwards. You probably get a beat up- You probably get a beat up a politician afterwards. Who knows? Or the story is, help your fellow man out. Cause you get some cool shit afterwards. Speaking of beating the shit out of people. Hey dickheads. Fight me. Fuck it took him long enough. Come on, come on. I'm like walking around in circles. Really? R really? We're fucking doing- I literally- oh my God. It hasn't even been 15 minutes on this fucking Elgato. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this Elgato so much. Sometimes. Fucking annoying. You know what's fucked up about this? This shit works perfectly before streams. Why did I. Fucking recording. Not the recording, sorry. I just closed the, uh, the game capture. Hey guys, can't even see shit. Great, thank you. You know, it, 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 and it's gonna suck later because I'm gonna check this shit later and it's gonna be like, oh yeah, everything's good. But then when I start recording, it's gonna be like, oh, it's fucking clipping out every two seconds. It's fucking bullshit. <laughs> At least the song's kind of fire. Oh well. Alright, let's get back to it. Let's get back to beating the shit out of criminals. Oh yeah, I got a new- I got a new ability. <laughs> yeah, that guy's dead. You know, hey, it's okay. What was that noise? You guys heard like a sliding noise, right? That wasn't just me. Like, I legit heard a sliding noise and I want to know what the fuck that was.
Oh no, delinquents, what am I going to do? Look at this move. Fucking break his neck doing that. <laughs> cool. Yeah. All right, so now that we beat, pretty much beat the shit out of everybody in, in Osaka, let's go back to Tokyo. Wrong way. Wrong, we need to go this way. Oh, let me grab that. Oh, that's... Okay, I just realized what that noise is. I forgot, um, off camera, I was collecting a bunch of the locker keys because I wanted to just get it out of the way. And I forgot that, um, after a certain point you collect an item known as the lock the key finder and essentially that's the noise it makes every time you're near a key. I forgot that, I forgot that's what happens. Anyways, um, I got a couple of side things to do. And I kind of want to take care of these. We're of course going to do Majima stuff. Actually, you know what? Uh, okay, here's what we'll do. We'll do like two or three sub stories, and then we'll go. Um, we'll go do. We'll go fight Majima. Nah. What am I gonna do? It's been months and still nothing. And I hear that Yamichi and Tekanichi have already got several multiple offers. Mm -hmm. Only that we're the only ones left. I got the eighty rejections. Jesus Christ. My self-esteem is shot. Nothing, come for, nothing came through for me either. I never thought it would take this long. What are they talking about? <sighs> hey assholes, can you stop being sad in my city? <laughs> Maybe we're just un unemployable. <laughs> together, together. Together, together, everyone. There must be somewhere that'll take us. Sounds like their job hunting isn't going so well. How do you get? How do you get rejected eighty times though? God damn! What the fuck are you? What are you putting on your fucking resume that you're getting rejected eighty fucking times? Oh. Hey, if my dumbass can get fucking hired in Starfield for putting all the most bullshit answers, I'm pretty sure anybody can get hired. You mean one of you mean all of us interviewing together? Yeah, we'll, we'll do it at the same time. No, that's not a good idea. That's not a good. Don't do that. Oh, that sounds awesome. It'll be we'll be way more relaxed with you guys in the same room. Where did we apply? I mean, too, but uh, dude, this is not a good idea. Don't do this. Yeah, oh. yeah, fuck yeah. Why not? Let's uh. I'm sure these guys- oh wait, no, Step Brothers never came out, so they, they, they can't see what happens when you try to apply with, when you try to get interviewed with somebody else in the room with you. You know what, though? I've actually been interviewed with somebody else in the room with me, aside from the interviewer. Cool. For, like, one- one job, like, one of my first jobs I took in high school. I was literally getting interviewed for a, um... Uh, what you call it? A, uh... A warehouse job at a, uh, at a at a clothing store, and essentially in the in the um, what you call it, in they hi they like interviewed me in the break room, and essentially a bunch of coworkers started fucking. There was this one, I was getting interviewed by the manager of the store, of course, but then a bunch of, like this old fucking dude comes in and he's like he starts he starts asking me interview questions. And I come to find out that's not even that's not even like a fucking like a manager, a, a fucking assistant man. No, it's just some regular guy. He, he's literally just a guy who fucking like hangs the clothes. And I asked him like, and I asked the managers and stuff when I got hired. I was like, was that also another one of the managers? Like, no, that's just a guy. That's just a guy who just who like hangs clothes and stuff. Yet they let they let him like interview me and stuff. So, yeah. And what they were telling me, like, yeah, he didn't want to hire you because you because you were we because he didn't like the answers you were giving and stuff. I was like, okay, okay. 
Yep, they still fucking hired me. Because at first I was thinking, oh, the guy's probably like a long time worker and like they trust his opinion. No, they don't. Nobody at that store liked him. Apparently what I was heard, I heard is that he was offered promotions and stuff, but he would always refuse them. The guy, that guy sucked. I'm just gonna say that that guy sucked. I worked with him for months, and he always just like... I don't know what it is about people. I, I really hate getting fucking like just talked down to and shit. I'm sure as most people would. And, and like... I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be working. Like, I'm okay like fucking... If somebody's joking about it and shit, like just being like patronizing as a joke, but like intentionally doing it all the fucking time, it's just like, dude, I'm here for fucking eight hours. You think I want to deal with this book? You think I want to deal with some dickhead fifty-year-old? Like I'm good. I'm I'm fucking sixteen. You think I give a shit? That's when I was like working at the place at the time. I'm now way older. Still, it's like you don't want to fuck. You don't want to be around that person the entire time. They're fucking annoying. Like, you got too much fucking time on your hands and stuff. What should I sell? What's, what's like, I, I got a couple places I should sell. I don't know, some people, some people, some people just, uh, when it comes to, you know, with shit. The people at your jobs just... You think to them so yourself, man, this person has way too much fucking time on their hands. I'm kind of glad that guy got fired after like a couple months in and it, it so yeah. Yeah, because he tried to do the same thing to another fucking co-worker and they reported his ass for that shit and they were just like, yeah, we, yeah, you can't be fucking talking that way to people. People were like, you should have reported, but I was like, dude, I'm, I'm here. I, I'm just here to get a paycheck. You think I give two fucks? I, I'm just trying to get my money. That's all. I'm, I'm like, literally, I get paid, I get paid like $13 an hour. You think I give a fuck? Actually, I think it was like 12. I, I think it was, it was, it was, f no, 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 it was 10. Sorry. It was $10. You think I fucking cared? They didn't, they didn't fucking pay me enough to care, give a shit. I, I was just there. Like, all I did was fucking stack boxes, fucking... Take, donate, take, like, fucking, like, pick up, like, pick up orders from the truck and shit. And that was it. But fucking, I, I just didn't care. Honestly. I was so happy to quit that job. That job sucked. That was probably... Not, I've worked a decent amount of jobs after that, but it's like... That's one of the jobs where I was just like, yeah, I should have quit it, like, within a week. You guys ever have that where like you you sign on to a job and you're just like you you just know within the first week that this is gonna suck. I had that happen a couple times. I was mostly working like customer service jobs and stuff. I'm never going back to customer service in my life. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not doing shit. And I hope I never have to. I, I I do just I just don't want to deal with that shit. Cause one thing one thing about working in customer service, it, it's you, you'll always get you'll always deal with dumbasses. And I'm not trying to say that to like sound better than people. I'm that's not what I mean. I mean like people will legit just do stupid shit and it will just astound. It will just fascinate you. Well, how stupid some people can get. I was working, uh, I used to work, uh, in, during COVID, I was working a, at a donation center. That was, well, it was a thrift store, it wasn't really, a, I'm gonna be honest, it was just a thrift store. People said it wasn't, they were like, but no, no, it is. It, it was, it was straight up just a thrift store. And I'm not saying that, like, I'm against thrift store. Dude, I go, I go to thrift stores sometimes. That's where I get some, that's literally where I get some of the games. <laughs> But I was working at one during COVID and we had a we had like an hour where people were allowed to come in and like drop stuff off and we had to close early because we had to sanitize stuff. We, we had to sanitize for like two hours. So we had to we had to end at like three and the store would close at five. 
and we would just get dickheads it would show up like right as we're about it we had to leave the doors open so we could tell people not to drop stuff off and we would leave signs like we were behind we were behind a, we were like in a parking lot so we had to put it at the entrance of parking lots at the front of the store at the back of the store to let people know yeah we're not taking donations at this time come again at this time or call the number that's that's fucking listed and all the fucking time we'd always get some we'd always get some dickheads who were just like hey are you guys taking donations like no no we're not right now come like come again tomorrow or try the other stores because other stores had different times too we we were just one of the stores that happened to close early i think there was like one store that like closed to like that was open to like 10 and they would take donations to like, I want to say like 8.30. And it would always be they try to negotiate with you too, where it's like, hey man, come on, like, it's just a couple things. I'm just like, dude, no, just no. And they would always be like, oh, but I'm gonna drop it off anyways. I was like, why, why, why are you telling us that? Like, why are you snitching? Why are you snitching yourself out first of all? If you're gonna drop it off, drop it off, but be secret about it. Don't be like, oh, I'm gonna fuck it. I'm gonna fuck it. Just unfollow, not follow your rules. Like, don't follow the rules when nobody's looking. Fucking dickhead. God damn. Th I know. I know. Damn. Oh, those are the kids who be like, ooh. Like, oh my god, I'm stealing. I'm so bad. That's like, dude, you took a cookie from your, you took a cookie from the from the cookie jar. You're not fuck it. You're not some like hardened criminal, dude. You just took a cookie from the from the cookie jar. You're not you're. You're not like in the fucking mafia, dude. Like, calm down. Like, I hate people like that so much. There's. And COVID didn't fucking help it either. For fucking everybody was everybody was fucking agitated during that time. I think the funniest thing that ever happened, though, uh, at one point they had me um at the at that uh at that thrift store they had me checking temperatures and stuff because you had you were required and i shit you not i had this lady come in and she's just like can you like check my arm and i was like ma'am i'm on camera plus my fucking manager's right there she's gonna like she like that lady forced me to fucking i had to do it right because on when i was just taking temperatures i was just like yeah whatever fuck it it's fine uh, it, it, it was probably the easiest job because all I had to do was just stand there and point it at people It's literally like those meat thermometers too where you check if like something's done in the oven That's literally what it was These fucking retards were just like Oh, they, like I don't want you to put microchips in my head I'm like, are you fucking stupid? Like how fucking dumb are you? Like do you think good, do you think fucking a thrift store gives a fuck? If you if you have a microchip or not, no. I hate it. Like I I never like I. That is the reason why sometimes I hate people. Like working working customer service during. That's the main reason why I don't want to fucking work customer service because I don't want to deal with dumbasses again. I at least prefer. I actually kind of like working in an office because of that. It was fucking stupid. That's not even the dumbest thing either. Like there was other incidents too, but like fucking. And it would always be the it would always be the same argument too. And they would always just be like, "Oh, I don't want you to put fucking biker troops in my head." I'm like, dude, I don't I don't give a fuck. Yeah, pretty sure a thermometer is gonna put a micro trip in your head. Yeah, totally. People were fucking, people were just fucking retarded during that time, I swear. And they would always, why did they always say the same shit? You guys are sheeps, you f sheeps falling for the fake news. It's like, dude, you guys sound like, like, why were the people calling people sheep sounded the same? They all sounded the fucking same. Like, I'm not one to be political. I don't give a shit what side, you, what, what, like, fucking side you are in politics. I really couldn't care less. It has nothing to do with the channel, but, like, Fucking Jesus Christ, there are a lot of stupid people besides from COVID. I'm not gonna go too into it, but yeah. Especially if you if you're working customer service, you had to deal with a blunt end of a lot of stupid people during the time. Thank god I did not work in food service. Oh my god, I feel bad for the people who had to work in food service during the fucking during fucking COVID. 
I feel bad too because I, I, I used a lot of DoorDash and I will admit I got high a lot of those times when I was using DoorDash. I'll kind of order some crazy shit sometimes. I'll be like, oh yeah, can I get like fucking... Can I, can you like put, can you put like a series of sauces? Can you like put fucking... Can you like take chicken, can you take the, the beef out and replace it with chicken? Can you like put, uh, oh, you replace it with chicken? Can you make sure like, can you make sure there's like uh, sour cream and stuff? Like all the, like I was, I felt like fucking dick at half the time. I mean, yeah, it's my order at the same time. I think one of the most insane orders I've ever ordered was like, I was, I was ordering for like, like fucking eight people. So like McDonald's has like these fucking bundles and shit and I ordered like three of them. That's a lot of food for eight people by the way, but. <laughs> that shit came out to like $70. That's probably the most I ever spent at McDonald's. Mo like the least amount, usually my, my spending amount is like probably like 15 bucks. Even less than that, cause like they they got that they got those deals now with the McChickens, like like four dollars for like four dollars for like two McChickens. So that's pretty. That's a good deal. I got and they brought the spicy back. I fucking love the spicy McChicken. Get like get like a medium fry. Get a medium Coke or a Sprite. No matter two two spicy McChickens. That's my that's my go to meal right there. It's delicious. I kind of hate though that sometimes they drench the fucking McChickens in like a series of mayonnaise. Not even a series, a sea of mayonnaise. It's like, dude, I don't fucking need this much. It's fucked up because I always have to ask for no mayo. Because they always fucking put a lot on there. And I'll either ask for the mayo on the side or I'll fucking... Because they do have mayo packets. I'm just getting that way. But I fucking hate that they put so much fucking mayo on a fucking McChicken. Like it doesn't need this much. It's like fuck off. I remember one time I got a fucking McChicken. It was they didn't even put them. I shit you not. They didn't even put no fucking meat. They didn't even put no fucking meat on it. It was just mayo and lettuce, and I still ate it because I was fucking hungry. <laughs> it was the most disgusting sandwich I ever had in my life. I'm not gonna lie though, I've been I've been trying those McFlurry. I've been having McFlurry. I'm gonna say drinking McFlurries. I mean, when I order them from DoorDash, they do come like fucking. They're all melted and shit because they've been in they've been in a, like a, under a heat lamp for like two hours. No, I will admit I did like slow down when it came to DoorDash. In recent times, and during COVID, I, I used it a lot. But nowadays, I'll probably use it like once a month. And even less than that sometimes. It's just that... The reason... I think the re the main reason why I stopped using it is because of the pricing. The fucking everything is expensive as shit. Bro. I shit you not. I bought... um. There's this local burger place I like to go to in my hometown when I'm, I'm like visiting family. So it's delicious. I'm not gonna say it because I want it's my family, but um, I fucking love going there, and they got really tasty cheeseburgers. And I ordered one the other. I, I was visiting uh, last week. I went I went to visit. I order a cheeseburger, and get, dude, it came out to like nineteen dollars. I mean, of course, it came with like a coke and fries, but like nineteen bucks. For a cheeseburger and fries? Like, no! It wasn't even a lot of food. The fucking assholes, like, filled up the fucking cup with the- with the I hate when they do that, by the way. You go, like, to Starbucks, or you go, like, to any- any place that does drinks, they'll always fill up the cup with ice. That's why, like, I-, I when I get food, I- when I get, like, burgers and stuff, and I'm eating- and I know I'm gonna eat it, like, pretty soon. I just get- I just always get the soda, like, without ice. Like, dude, just, uh, just give my fat ass a soda. I'm already ordering from your place. Give my fat ass a soda. I don't care. There's just a guy uh, sitting cross-legged with a hard hat on. How you doing there, feller? Hey, something wrong? 
I don't know. I'm just pooped. I bet you feel better if you eat something. If you eat well and make sure you get an eight hour. What the fuck, Kiryu? Kiryu, Kiryu, why are you turning? Why are you turning into a fucking nineteen eighties PSA? Remember, kids, don't do drugs. Because it's fucking cool. Believe me. Believe me, I sleep like a log, but I guess my appetite's been pretty low lately. If only there was some kind of nutritious drink for me. Allow me to introduce you to Stamina Royale. Now this baby, this baby will fix you right up. Gulp, gulp, gulp. This is literally just turning, this is literally just turning into fucking... An ad for stamina Roy Oh, he just- Oh, cool! Oh, you see- see what happens, kids? You- you give a- you see a stranger on the streets and you give them monster energy and they're- they become your best friend. You know, I still want to go back in time and give a fucking- I still want to give a peasant- <laughs> I'm just saying, it would be fucking cool. I want to go back in time and give a fucking peasant- I beat a guy with a hard hat? That's cool. Anyways, um, I want to go back in time and be able to uh, and give a peasant a fucking monster energy and I want to see what happens. I feel like that'd be funny as shit. I, I, I genuinely feel like that'd be really funny to just give like a... Some kid who's never... Some kid who's never ha who's never had any seasoned food in his life. And just watch him freak out. Watch him have a fucking heart attack from the monster energy. I don't think it... What would happen? What would happen to if you gave it to somebody from medieval times? I don't think it would kill them. I feel like, I feel like they would see God or something. Yeah, why not? Fuck it. That's how, that's how we win a war. Just, just, give, uh, just give it to Alfred the first. Here you go, my lord. <laughs> Drink this. It is a... It is the nectar of the gods. Maybe that's what Ambrosia is. Some some fucking jackass went back in time <laughs> to ancient Greek, <laughs> to ancient Greece. Sorry, not ancient Greek. And fucking gave it to a bunch of gave it to a bunch of like random random ass Greek soldiers and just be like, oh yeah, this is a, this is the drink of the gods. If you drink it, you become <laughs> you become a demigod. I feel like I would do- I feel like genuinely, this is why I shouldn't have time travel because I feel like that's some shit I would do. I would sell, like, products of the future, and then trademark them as, like, fucking, like, medicine or I would do a dead ass. I would go back to 1922 and fucking trademark G Fuel to some- like, sell G Fuel to some fucking random ass kid from Brooklyn. I'd be funny as shit. Kid- this kid's died of cholera and shit, I'm just like, here kid, have some fucking G Fuel. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be you'll be selling newspapers till the crack of dawn tomorrow. Uh, and newsies will never be written. I actually like newsies, but I want to see if I could actually change history. I feel like I could. I'm gonna raise this real quick. The volume's a little low. Hey, I forgot we're fighting fake ass fucking Craven the Hunter. You guys excited for Spider Man 2, by the way? I am. That shit's gonna be cool. I'm excited for it. Alright, speaking of Spider-Man, let's beat the fuck out of this asshole. Oh shit, I just- I saw we have a def- We have a counter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! There we go, yeah. Enter- Enter Essence. There we go, fuck yeah! Ah, fuck, I fucked it up. And well. We still won, so I'll take that. I'll take. We fucking broke his neck. I heard. I heard the neck break. 
I heard his neck. God damn. I heard his. You guys heard his neck break, right? I'm not the only one. You fucking broke that dickhead's neck. Gary Buster Holmes. I swear to God, Gary look. Gary Buster looks like a skinny guy flying out of a buff guy. Guy got a big. Look at look at the look at his neck. Come on, Kiri, he's trying. Come on, don't don't be don't be don't be racist. That's a bad guy trait. Only bad guys can be racist. Unless we're talking about unless we're talking about Warhammer, then that's a different story. Pretty much everybody's racist in that series. But it's fucking cool. I feel bad for that. I feel bad for Gary. That that was that was too much. <laughs> By the way, did you see how fast we like halved his health? Dude, we took like two punches. His fucking half his health was gone. This is why Dragon Essence is so fucking cool. Speaking of fucking cool. Now it's time for the Dragon of Dojima to fight the Mad Dog of Shimano. Ooh. I don't know how he's not- I don't know how that doesn't hurt. Like, the dude's like, w walking through sparks. I feel bad for that, those two guys up in the front row. They're just getting fucking blasted in the face by sparks. Aww, he's happy to see his butt. He's happy to see his best friend. Nope. Kiri and nobody can read Majima. I'm gonna use some weapons since to make this fair. I have a gun. Look at this, look at this. Yeah! I fucking love dynamic intros, they're so cool. <laughs> And they're playing Receive You Subtype. I love this song so much. Ah shit, get up, get up, get up! Alright, by the way, weapons, let's go real quick. I'm not gonna use a I have- Let's use- I wanna use the goofy weapons. I don't wanna- I don't wanna use a fucking- I don't wanna use a fucking gun. Or a grenade. I wanna use the goofy shit. Do I want to beat him with a bat? Yeah, why not? Fuck it. Wait! I thought you were gonna stab him with the fucking... I thought you were gonna stab him with that. Come on. Hey! Stop! Stop! Fucking... Target him! Alright, what are we going? What's the button? What's the button? Got it. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Good dodge, good dodge. There we go, good, there we go, good, good. All right, good. Ooh, hit him with the tiger drop. Mmm, that's what's up. Thank you fucking bitch! Ooh, he got Majin with the fucking tiger drop. I fucking love that move. I know it's not the actual tiger drop. The actual tiger drop is a straight punch, I know that, but... Still a cool move.
By the way, I don't actually know when we um unlock other the other Kamaki moves. So far I've done I've just been going after his pupils and also um what you call it. Just like I finished all his training, so like now I'm like kinda I'm like wondering where the fuck I should go. By the way, before we move on, I need to make sure I have full uh, full health. Do I have anything worth buying? Employee of the month. It's like the only thing I can buy. Uh, boost weapon weapon attacks. I can also boost. Well, I need a uh, need six hundred and sixty six more points. Uh, do I have any? Do I have anything that can help boost it? My uh, cart meter. So I need about six hundred. So let me see. No recovery items help with that. So. How many total do I, how many of the, oh fuck. Oh well, I'm straight. I, I mean, if anything, I could probably just go to a, I could go to a restaurant and just like get those points. I love that that's a method you use to grind in this game. Oh, what's that? You don't want to fight? Eh, just go to a sushi place. Yeah, fuck it. By the way, those sushi places, I swear in this game, are fuck give you the best stats. There's a crab. There's a crab place in uh in fucking Osaka that you literally go to that like will give you like a hundred points in whatever category. I've been going that. That's what I was doing for like two hours. By the way, this fucking office is cool as shit. Nice moves out there. Glad you still got it, Kiryu Chan. Boy. <laughs> I did what you asked. Are you gonna hold your? Uh, are you gonna hold up your end? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. A promise is a promise. You really want you really want me back in the Tojo clan? Yeah. No. You don't need to rejoin them. Uh huh? Eh? You're changing the terms on me, Kiryu Chan. That ain't what we said earlier. Mm. The Tojo clan can't handle you. You're way more than I can hope for than I can hope to chew. They can hope. Yep. So, I want you to give them a hand. They need your strength right now. Ooh. Oh. You want me to give them a little juice is all. Uh. Basically. Think you could do that for me? Ah. Fine. Only cause it's you, Kiryu-chan. I got it, but I gotta ask. Is the Tojo re really so fucked that- Really so fucked that you could- You would call me in? Mm. Shindo is threatening to split the night. Yeah. Shindo is speaking- Shindo is threatening to split the Nishikiyama family off from the clan. Ooh. I'll be what, like half of Tojo's men? Uh. More or less. And with the Go Ryo clan bearing down on the city, the timing is terrible. Uh. Yeah. Well, this is all sent this is all sending the sending off my stank meter here, Chen. It don't feel right. Mm. Why do you say that? Can't help but feel like someone's pulling your strings. How so? Well, the only cap Terrida. Yep. Let's start there. Uh, yeah. Right in front of me. That's some iffy shit. Many. Iffy. Seems pretty clear cut to me, but let's hear it. <sighs> when Terada took reins, the Omi actually stopped making trouble for to for the Tojo clan. We were making trouble for them. Really? Mm. And the attack then the attack is what's strange to you? <sighs> hey! If it was Go Ryo's power, if it was a Go Ryo power play, maybe it's legit. That crazy fuck will steal, will kill you and steal your pants. The Terrida didn't make enough waves to warrant a hit. Mm. But if you weaken its, but if you weaken the clan, they wouldn't take the opportunity. Hey, I've been out of the game for a while. I can't say I know all the fine print. All I'm saying is that I never liked the guy. Mm. Why not? He was always giving us we he was always giving us that weak shit about peace and coexistence. <sighs> and now look. Everyone thinks the Tojo clan has lost its sack sides. Sides what? Herida left the whole left the whole clan scrambling around like this. Just goes to show that he never had his shit together. Yatsu 
寺川自分の言うことに従うイエスマンしか周りにおかんかったんや俺や柏木のおっさんとかの御三衆は真っ先にのけもん扱いにされた柏木さんもそうや若頭大公なんぞ言うとるが実際はお飾りやミレニアムタワーにでっかい事務所作っても寺田の命令なしには一切動くことはできんかった俺はそんな寺田のやり方に嫌気がさして組み割ったんやまさか寺田が At least Majima went legit and started a construction business. Plus, he looks kind of goofy with the he looks kind of goofy with the hard hat on. <laughs> Ishikiyama, it's a koi fish. What the fuck? That I thought it was a koi fish, but it had the same colors as a koi. ないな。現地の質こいな。なんだ、この警報は。現場に不審な侵入者が出た時に鳴るようになっとるんや。最近そういうやからが多くてな。一体何なんだそいつらは。うちの神室町ヒルズ計画を奪い取ろうとしてる
And Yakuza 7, we gotta fight a crane, now we gotta be the crane. その通りや。ええ、せやけど、わしら防衛戦が苦手でな。つい目の前の連中殴るのに夢中になって、施設守るのを忘れてまうんや。せやから、キリュウちゃんには施設を守りつつ、奴らを追い払えるように全体を見て
Majima's just spinning. Yeah. No, Ma Majima, go back and kick that guy's. There you go. Yeah. See, that's what happens when a, one guy tries to fight five dudes. It doesn't end well. That was uh, that was cool. I, I did not know I was gonna I was gonna see uh I was gonna see that. That was that was pretty cool. I know that's something I'm gonna have to do off camera a lot. Oh I love whole thing on camera. <laughs> what? Is that fucking Shimano? Wait, no, that's not Shimano. What? Shibusawa. There you go. That, that's the, the villain from uh, the villain from Yakuza Zero. I knew that not this guy, but the other guy. It's fucking Shibusawa. He came back from the dead. Kenji Muto, CEO of the Muto. Muto Fudosan. Ma, Kono Hende, a Sokosoko Yume, a Kaisa de Ne. Majima san, he hills cake, a co, Yuzuto shit, the only I stand dagado. Nakanaka, okay, she could knock the sa. To you, Koto, a coitsraga. Eh, Uchi or Nera Turin Chue. Majima san, Katabuts there, eh. いくら金積んでも、オッケーしてくんねえんだもん。お前らに触れてやるような。カムロ町ヒルズはないわ。ふーん。まあそっちはその気なら、こっちは強引にやるだけだけどな。な、長の。ああ。The leader of the color gangs. What?俺のパートナーの長のだ。<笑><笑> Okay. <laughs> okay. Why is he dressed like? By the way, why is he dressed like that? This, it looks like it. You know what? This does make this does take place in the early 2000s. Actually, it takes place in 2006. This is like this is what you would wear when you want to just look cool as shit. This guy played Devil May Cry once. He was like, I want to look like that. This guy Dante. It's pretty cool. Oh. What did Devil, Devil May Cry was what, 2003? Ah, so. Ah, 2001. Okay. Oh, Devil May Cry 3 came out in 2007, in 2005. Hmm. Yep. That means he had to play the bullshit one too. You know, two. We're saving that, by the way. That's gonna be on a shit show special. You don't know that right now. I don't know when, but somewhere in the future. The three and one I'll probably play in the future. Maybe one. I'm excited for it. I really want to play one mainly, but three's pretty cool too. I bought the collection like last week, so I might I might play it sometime this year. Maybe around December. Oi! <laughs> こっちも本気で生かしてもらうでいい。<笑> Okay, 
I mean, Kiri gets tracked into all kinds of crazy shit, so it's not too- don't feel too bad. It's like- it's like a normal Tuesday for Kiryu. My boss is crazy. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I was not expecting that voice. God di God damn that guy had a deep ass Bring it on. I'll take him down. Uh. Is that a Dachi's like brother or something? Why does that guy kind of look like a Dachi? You know the guy who's been who was chairman for like five minutes and then quit. No, literally, he was he was only chairman for like five minutes. He gets inaugurated and then they're like, yeah, quit. And he just fucking dips. Fucking funny as hell. Yeah, sure you are, buddy. Sure you are. Yeah, you're attacking yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You guys remember the last time a dragon tried to fight Kiryu? Wasn't good. It didn't end well for that guy. But yeah, total, totally fight that guy. And before anybody says Ichiban fought him, he's not a dragon. He's a dragon koi. The difference. Ichiban's not a full dragon. He's a dragon koi. He's like a Gyarados. Not technically Gyarados. He's a dragon type, but like that's a, that's a different shit. That's a different shit. That's 
最近仕上げはやってねえって聞いたけどよおそうなのかまあなだがキリがいるってんなら話は別だその話乗らせてもらうぜ<笑>決まりですねよしそれじゃあ地上げ三重師の皆さんよろしくお願いします一番先にヒルズ計画を奪い取ってくれた方に報酬を差し上げますんで兵隊はうちのギャングチームの連中を好きに使ってくれて構いませんいい結果を期待してます<笑>誰に向かって言ってんだ俺が失敗するわけねえだろう早速準備しねえとなお前らには悪いが報酬は俺がいただくで。Hey, Jesus Christ, that is a fucking goddamn, that is bright as shit. Um, yes? Do you need something? I think you dropped this. My charm! I thought I lost it for good. That's some bad luck losing your charm. Yeah, not, definitely not getting fucking fired 85, or sorry, not fired, getting rejected 80 times. Yeah, definitely losing, dropping shit on the floor is the worst part of your luck. Oh, yeah, totally. That's some, that's some bad luck, losing your charm. Maybe that's why we're in this ma- No! <laughs> I don't think it is. I think you guys just suck. That's <laughs> all. So, hey, don't blame this on me. It's all Masakun's fault. What did he do? You guys equally suck. Is something wrong? Well, we were supposed to have a mock group interview today, but our fourth dropped out. Last minute. <clears throat> Masano was supposed to join us, but apparently you get a job offer. He waited till now to text me though, and the interview is about is is in a few minutes. We need a minimum of four. After all that practice, too. He left you guys in quite a bind. We would have been fine if someone hadn't dropped their charm. Hey, don't pin this on me! It's not like you helped either. Uh? Enough. You too. Money won't solve anything. Hey, um, are you free right now? Cool. What do you ask? Well, we are pretty, but we are, we were all pretty bummed about not being able to do the mock interview. We practiced so hard. I was just wondering, well, if you'd be our fourth? E? What are you thinking? You can't just rope a random stranger into this. I mean, it's a Yakuza game. Of course, people rope random strangers into things. But he looks so prof he looks professional enough. Besides, he's nice enough to bring the charm back, right? So, sir, uh, I'm sorry to ask this of you, but could you help us? I'm not exactly a student. I am thir I am 45 years old. But you know, hey, fuck it. I mean, oh. that guy looks like he's in his 50s. Uh, we're hopeless. I wish a nice cushy job would fall into our lap into my lap. Me too, bud. Me too. I don't want to see their practice go to waste either. What should I do? Eh, fuck it. We get cool shit when we help. All right. As long as you're sure I'll fit in. You really you really help? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Kadayama. He's Maisawa and she's Mizugu Mizuguchi. I got I'm not good with Japanese names, but I gotta do my best. I'm Kiryu. Are you sure about this, Kadawa Kadayama? This guy's well he's old. Dog, I'm only 45. Yeah, I look like I'm 22 for some reason. You're a lifesaver, Kiryu son. Anyway, during the interview, you should try to say stuff that flows that flows with what we talk about, you know, to back us up. 
And then when it gets it, when it gets your turn, just make some, just make it sound as good as possible. Oh, I'm gonna fuck this up, and I'm and I want to fuck this up because this is gonna be funny. Oh, and uh, thank you again, Kiryu-san. Oh, don't thank me now. You're gonna regret this. <laughs> what have I got myself into now? Kiryu, this isn't the weirdest thing you've done today. Come on. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for coming today. Let's begin the interview. As this is a group interview, we'll have each of you take tur take a turn to tell us about yourself. So, shall we begin? We can start with introductions. I'm Takaku... I'm Takakuma Maisawa. I'm Chika, I'm Chika Mizuguchi. My name's Toshiki Kadayama. Kiryu. Azuma Kiryu. I, w I would love for him to just go, Wait, you're the dragon of Dojima? What are you doing here? Like, he, he understands the criminal underworld. He's like, oh, fuck, we can't hire that guy. That is a criminal. <laughs> We're all very excited to be here. Like, how would they, why would they let me, in all honesty, wouldn't they have, like, a criminal back? Like, I went to prison for 10 years. I don't know the hiring system in Japan, in all honesty. Maybe they overlook the criminal, maybe they look the criminal charge that I've, I, I was in penitentiary for, like, fucking, I was in a state penitentiary for, like, 10 years. Was he in a state? Was, no, I think it was a federal, it was a federal, I don't fucking know what he did. He went to jail for murder, essentially. Wherever the fuck you go in Japan when you commit murder. I think it's a federal prison. I don't fucking know. We're all very excited to be here, sir. It was nice, but I <laughs> should be going. <laughs> nice weather we're having, huh? It's nice to meet you. <laughs> I want to say goodbye. It was nice to meet you. <laughs> it was nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you. This was nice, but I should be going. <laughs> mm? Already? Hold on, Kiryu said. The interview just started. It's just, just starting. We need you. Sorry. I got a little, <laughs> I got a little impatient. <laughs> now then, let's hear about your strengths. But don't get too carried away, or you'll sound like you're bragging. Why don't you start? Why don't you start us off, Maisawa? Hi. Well. I spent a lot of time in college playing futsal. What, what's futsal? What's, what, is, what is futsal? Futsal. Thank God for the power of the internet. Futsal. Futsal is a football-based sport played in hard, played in a hand, played in a hard courted, like a basketball court, smaller than a football pitch, and mainly in. Oh, so it's like indoor football. I just see this picture of this guy getting fucking thrown at the floor. <laughs> okay, so he's he's an indoor soccer player. That's pretty cool. It's basically a five on five indoor soccer on a smaller field. I was so good at I, yeah. I was so good that they made me captain of the team, and we went we went on to second place in the city in the citywide tournament. Being a, being a team player is important. Too bad you, too bad you did a good first. So you didn't, so you didn't study much then. <laughs> I want to be a fucking asshole to these people. I was nice enough to come, <laughs> but the, I'm just gonna be a dickhead to them. Too bad you didn't come. If you didn't get first. It's too bad you failed to come in first. <laughs> yes, that certainly is a shame. <laughs> Wait, second place is pretty good though. <laughs> Isn't that right, Misasawa? I I guess. I mean, I I did I did make a lot of great friends on the team. Guy always used to talk. Guy always used to talk about how I was a great social social lubricant. I've never heard that term before because you were because you were always oiled up. You really help people get along, lubricant. You can. Be, can be more than that. Let's say, let's say a nice thing. You could be more than that, lubricant. You could be more than that, huh? Don't sell yourself for greasing the wheels of companies' engines. If you put your mind to it, you can be the engine. Well, I hear you. Every mem every member of the company has a role to fulfill. There's a reason the ro each role exists. 
and it's to fulfill the it's to fulfill the duties that you're assigned and worthy of oh you better not say this company's like a family i hate when companies say that because you know it's going to be a toxic work environment they say we're basically like a family here at this site no you're a fucking dickhead who likes to overwork people younger than you and fucking overwork them to the point where they either quit or get fired pretty much well that's it for me thank you for listening Great, you're next, uh, Michiz Michiz Mizuguchi. Hi. My best asset is cooking for sure. No, no, <laughs> nobody can make it top. Nobody can top my my signature potato salad. <laughs> uh huh. Not to be rude, but how exactly do you want to apply that to the workplace? Um. Well, who knows when <laughs> life's coming. <laughs> Oh fuck! God damn it, my fucking fuck you, Elgato. Hey, I wasn't laughing because is because she said she said her best quality was cooking. No, no, you guys are sexist for assuming I'm sexist. Anyways, <laughs> I want to I want to say this weird statement. Bosses are like potatoes. <laughs> what? What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? Bosses are like potatoes. That is such a weird fucking thing to say. Who the fuck? Who the fuck just says that? You know what? We are. Bosses are like potatoes. Bland, starchy, and a pain to work with in the, any setting. What? What are you implying by that, Kiryu-kun? <laughs> the bosses are not potatoes. They aren't carrots, they aren't celery, they ain't any part of the potato salad. Yeah, yes, I know that. Moving on. Is there something you'd like to tell us about yourself, Mizuguchi-san? Mizu Let me see. Oh, a year ago, I went on a soul-searching trip to India. It was enlightening. It's good to experience other cultures. Did you eat any good curry? <laughs> I bet you did find soul. <laughs> I bet you did find your soul. I find it hard to believe that you found your soul there. I mean, how can a Japanese person learn themselves about themselves in India? Fucking goddamn, Curry, that is fucked up. You can't say that. Huh? Maybe you know what you maybe. <laughs> Maybe you should have figured out who you were at home before you went abroad like a lost lamb. Well, I no need to be dismiss. No need to be so dismissive, Kiryu-kun. I'm sure she had a strong grasp on Japanese society, right? Oh yes, of course. Well, that's it for me. Thank you for listening. Yeah. That was that was great. Thank you, Kadayama-san. You're up next. Let's see what stupid shit we can say about him. Okay, now what to talk about? Ah, when I was in college, I became totally captivated captivated by the field of robotics. Is he? Please tell me, Kiryu calls him a virgin. <laughs> please tell me. That's a future. That's a future proof industry. Are you trying to go to the moon? <laughs> Explain. That's why you're so robotic. Are you trying to go to the moon? You were studying to go to- Were you studying to go to the moon? Um, Kiryu-kun. What? Did I say- What? Did I say something wrong? Kadiyama was talking about robots, not rockets. Are you even listening? No. I'm not. Speaking of my research, I pre I got pretty frustrated by it at times, but my teacher motivated me to push through it. Finally reaching my goal of show showed me the value of tenacity. As they say, perseverance pays uh, dividends. If only you treated the job hunting like that. <laughs> Damn! You should be persistent in love, too. That's a great work attitude. <laughs> I want to say this. It's fucked up. Let's see. 
<laughs> if only you treated job haunts you like that, then keep doing your best, and maybe you'll find the end someday. <laughs> someday. I want it to end now. Is the job is the job hunting much of a burden to you, Ka Kariyama kun Ah, uh, hear you, son. That's not that's not important right now. <laughs> that's all I have to say. I hope I performed. I hope I performed to your standards. That leaves you with you. <laughs> You're not exactly recent graduate, are you? Hey. Right. I uh, I just decided to spend some time in the real world. No, you're uh, seeking a middle-aged career realignment. I take it. I take it in that case. I have a few questions for you. First, what was your previous occupation? I was a, I was a fucking I was a yakuza boss. That's what I was. Well, I was a total class board chairman. I used to be in real estate. That is true. He actually did say that. I want to say this because it's true. Both of these statements are true, by the way. I wish the third one, uh, the third option was I was in prison for 10 years. <laughs> I was the Tojo Clan Sport Chairman. I was the Tojo Clan Sport Chairman. The Tojo Clan Kiryu, are you a Yakuza? Yeah. <laughs> Not anymore. I'm just a civilian though. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Kiryu san doesn't know what he's saying. He's never done an interview like this before, so I'm sure he's never he's he's nervously making things up on the fly. Well, that was certainly creative. And he seems quite sure of himself. I suppose nervous makes something something strange sometimes. For your second question, Kiryu-kun, let's see. Why don't you tell us where you see yourself in the next five years, hopefully not in prison? Again. In other words, do you have any career ambitions? Hmm? I could see myself as a taxi driver. I could- I always wanted to be a mascot. I'm think- Okay, he actually does start an orphanage, so you know, we'll say- we'll say something nice. We'll, here he actually does become a- runs an orphan. I think it's a Yakuza 5 he runs an orphanage. I'm actually thinking of starting an orphanage. Helping those out who can't help themselves out has always been one of my strongest suits. What a splendid goal, Kirikun. You must truly care about the children in need. Kirikun has shown us nothing but kindness so far. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. <laughs> We've literally made you all look bad. And he's like, oh yeah, we made it. Yeah, he's totally a good guy. Interesting. I must say, Kirikun, that changes my opinion of you somewhat. Looks like our time is up. Does anyone have anything else to say? One more thing, yes. Are you po oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah! Thank you for having us! Thank you for having us! Thank you for having us. I think your hairline is receding! <laughs> Excuse me? Here you son, don't mess this up! You're supposed to say thank you! You're supposed to thank the interviewer! Shoot, my bad. Well, everyone, that brings our mock interview to a close. Thank you all for your hard work today. What if we actually still get the job? In my evaluation, I must admit, you all you all have the work cut out for you. Please take care of your please take care on your way home. Okay. Immediately after this, Kiryu gets jumped by all of them. I'm not feeling good about that. Yeah, we're really lacking the some oomph. Damn it! We'll never find work like this. It didn't go well. Let's give it another shot. We still have time until our real our real group inter our real group interview. We gotta find we gotta keep practicing. Yeah. I guess, um, do you think you should be able to join us again, Kiryu san? Now that we have a, now that we have some experience under our belts, we've got we've got this in the bag. Anyway. Thank you for for again today. We should be going. Maybe I should sit in on their next interview if I can. Oh no! I said I think that I think they'll get the job. Of course, this guy's got it. I'm sure. I'm sure. Totally, they'll be fine without my help. 
Yeah, no. I got this. I love how we can I love how we had the option to insult people. That was funny. Okay, so where am I heading exactly? I'm heading oh yeah, I gotta head to Serena. That was a good um That was a good change of pace there. I wanna throw I wanna throw a guy in the traffic, hold up. I love how we can just admit to being to being a criminal and nobody says anything. Remember, Kiryu doesn't kill anybody, even though we just broke that guy's neck. Remember, Kiryu doesn't doesn't kill anybody. Kiryu would never Shit. kill anybody. No. No. I like that chick from Good Out. Good Out. Get Out. No. 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 Hey, come here, bitch. Come here. See, this is what I like. This is my strength here. I want him to swing at me. There you go. I love that. When they swing at you, Kiri releases enough force. To be able to inst not just hit the bat, but send it flying back at somebody. That is fucking cool. That shit's gotta hurt, but you know what? Hey, fucking Kiryu probably conditioned himself to be able to take a hit like that. I don't know, it's a fucking video game. You can do crazy shit in this game. What can I buy? Uh, boost to weapon attacks? Yeah, fuck it, why not? Anything over here? Yeah, same thing. I don't know. So that, <clears throat> that clan builder, I'm gonna probably work on that on my own. Cause there's no telling how fucking long that is. It's like the cabaret quest. I need to just, I, I need to just do that off camera, honestly. Cause like no, no fucking way does anyone want to watch me do that for, I shit you not that in Yakuza games, the business side quests are always usually like eight hours. So, I mean, there's probably like, uh, I got other shit I gotta get to. So I, I'm not, I'm not gonna fucking just stream that for, for God knows how many hours. I did that originally and I realized that's not a good idea to be doing. Like when I first streamed uh, Yakuza 0 like two years ago. And I know we did kind of miss, um, by the way, I know that we did miss the anniversary, but you know, hey, it's fine. Happy two years. Woo! There you go, there's a, there's a celebration of two years of the channel. Nah, I'm kidding, we'll probably do something later. It's just I've been really busy for the past couple of weeks. Don't worry, I'll have some- I, I will have something del as a late, uh, delayed, uh, anniversary stream. Don't you- don't you buddy, you little heads. We're going to do something cool. I don't fucking know when, but it'll be out soon. Probably. Most definitely. Right, let's go check on our cop friend. He makes a lot of as a hardened criminal, we make a lot of friends with the police. ジョニジを過ぎたわよ。同時まだ愛護が1時にあなたの迎えを待ってるんじゃないの。なあ。お前は怖くないのか。何が隠された自分の過去を調べることだ。どうしてそんなこと聞くの実はね。俺の両親は登場会に殺されたんだ。いや、we <笑> 
あなたの過去なのね俺は風間のおやさんを本当の親と思って育ってきたから許すことができただがあんたはどうだ私だったら両親を殺した人間をしたら Wait, you're an orphan too? I forgot, I forgot she doesn't have parents. Is every fucking protagonist an orphan in the Yakuza games? That's what we should change. Uh, you know how Yakuza changed the title? For like a dragon? I feel like we should change it again to orphans committing crimes. Perfect name. Perfect name. There. Criminal orphans. Honkinano. あんたはその相手を許すつもりはないんだろうそうねそうするわどこへ行くんだ仕事よ仕事あなたの身辺保護さあ行くわよ Look, uh, look, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real with you, copper I don't trust the cops in the Yakuza game because they'll always be like, oh, you can trust us, and then I always get fucking killed. No, that's not a good idea. What? The Majima Saga Chapter 1 has, un has been unlocked. You can access it from the title. What the fuck is this? I could be Goro Ma I could I could play as fucking Goro Majima. Chat, we gonna do that. Chat, we gonna do that. I don't give a fuck about schemes. I want to play. Go I want you don't fucking give. No, you don't get. A, you don't just fucking get to show me go the chance to play with Goro Majima and expect me not to play it. Adas, Crusaders, Ushida, Ura, Isisda, Yahume. I don't know the word. I don't know the actual words to sound proud, but that shit goes hard. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. しかし初めて会った時はチンピラみたいだったが店長らしくなったもんだいやまだまだ勉強することが足りないですねもうすでにノイズミューラーいらっしゃいませ何ですかノイズミューラーこちら俺の昔の先輩で警視庁の顔を
法滞在の外国人を一網打尽にするって作戦だでもこの店には不法滞在の外国人なんて一人もいませんよ不衛法にいろいろ引っかかったことあるんだろうが早いとこ店閉めねえとしばらく営業できなくなるぞええまあでもどうしてそんな重要な情報を私に1年前この店には迷惑をかけたそのお詫びだそうだっ Isn't mayor does daddy look younger? A fuck? だてさん河原さん本当にありがとうございます By the way, wouldn't it be very suspicious if we close up shop before the raids? I, I feel like that's way more suspicious. I feel like that's way more suspicious. By the way, I'm pretty sure this is entrapment. Come on. I'm pretty sure this is entrapment. Come on. I'm pretty sure this is entrapment. Come on. I'm pretty sure this is entrapment. ま、ほら来た。行くぞ、まこと。あ、ちょっと。どうしたんですか He definitely made himself seem innocent there. So, time is almost up. Let's head to the Amino building. I don't know. I kind of want to do the Majima story. <laughs> Oh, where it is? Do you know where where it is? Uh. No, I can ask Tamara though. That's your info guy. That's your info guy who hangs out near uh, Theater Square. Worth checking, I suppose. But let's hurry. I don't know. Can't just show me Majima and not have me t not have me do his story. I'm just saying. It's not a bad idea. Maybe. Yeah, we go, we go, we go, go on do the Majima story. You don't get a shit. You don't get to show me Majima. Expect me not to fucking do that. Let's go to the main menu again. There you go. We'll do a little bit of Majima story. How long is the fucking... I don't actually know how long Majima story is. Play what? We'll do a little bit and then probably the next stream we'll play more. I don't... How how long? I think it's like... Probably like... How long is the Majima saga? Let me see. Majima... The Majima saga is... How long... How long? Long is the Majima Saga. And it's roughly like two hours. Okay. It's like it's like two hours, so we, we can we can do a little bit of it, and then we'll do it. We'll play. It. We'll probably finish the rest in the next stream. Yeah. We won't do a lot, but uh, I'll do I'll do normal. Yeah, normal. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say Japanese normal. Yeah, of course. Hey, I mean it is two thousand. It is two thousand five. That that's when that shit was nor That when that shit was crazy. Fucking normal was always like hard. Was always like easy difficulty, and then hard was normal.
I don't know why I'm just expecting Majima to fucking burst through a window. あしらな。下に忍びなんぞ続きないんですわ。登場会には登場会なりの起きてったもんがあんだ。あんたが昔いた大見連合みたいなやり方には正直ついていけねえ。そうだ。登場会改革かなんか知らねえが、大見みてえ
私の進めている登場会改革のルールに沿う形で適任者を選ぶことに決めましたルールルールですから、本部への上納金を最も多く納めている組。そこの組長を、登場会の次期若頭に任命します。な。That was a cool discovery. 早速、各組織の上納金の金額を確認しましょうか。イーブチはいそれではこちらをご覧くださいおいおいそんなこんなに差があるのかご覧の通り古くから登場会を支えている皆様の額はどんぐりの性比べまあ柏木さんの風間組が検討してるってところでしょうかしかしその風間組にダブルスコア以上の差をつけている組が2つあるそれが私の率いるイーブチ組と植松さんの植松組ですあんたたちが毛嫌いしている新参者のねこの結果に基づくと1位は植松組つまり次期若頭は植松さんということになりますかなふざけんなお前らが稼ぎがいいのは汚いしのぎに手を染めとるからやないか登場会にはな美学ってもんがあんだよ五代目が認めても俺は認めねえぞ金に目がくらんで極道の魂なくしちまっとるんとちゃいますか雑魚が邪魔しろお前ら So, so, what that makes this guy Pucci then? Yeah, I guess he's Pucci. He's Dio and he's Pucci. I mean, when does, when does a Stone Ocean take place? What's up? What, what year? では、次期若頭は、植松組の植松さんということで。うん。Okay, 2011. Five more years. A t r i a c h of the Majima family and the Tojo Subsidiary. Cool. The boy. He's scared, he got scared. <laughs> Look at all that money. See? Majima, pull, Majima pulls that money. He, he got the bank. Majima makes bank. Yeah, that's right. Eat, eat a dick, Dio. You may be cool, Dio, but you ain't Majima cool. Made a lady eat her baby. That, that happened in part one, by the way. Dio did make a lady eat his eat her baby. Do stand up. Conna taking. Ore, say a king, I stepped in. Caneca statuki no tamponi. Camurocho chacuna, chio, chee to bakari, ten y little thing. To Staranaya, de kai kinyonga. そこにビル建てたいから土地を譲れ言うてきてな
適当に引っ掛けたらこんだけの金になったっちゅうわけや<笑>ま俺がチートばかり本気になればこんなもんやしかし困ったの稼いだ額でメントを決めるんなら俺が若頭になってまうの五<笑>代目あんた人事でも何でも己の好きにしたらええせやけどなあんまり登場会なめとると飼い犬に手噛まれるで That's such a cool line <laughs> That's such a cool line The dog bites you <laughs> 一度本件は持ち帰りとする次回の幹部会の際に改めて方針を決定する。なんや。座り心地あんまり変わらんな。Can't just let Majima free freely roam the world. Fuck no. You you know what. You know what danger you just unleashed upon the world? Allowing Machima to roam the earth? Oh, what's up, Kasigawaga? I still can't believe that he's he's boss and fucking, um... And Zero, he's literally just a bartender. That's so fu- I don't know how the fuck I didn't realize that in 7. It's just Kasiwa- it's just Kashiwaga. Kashiwagi. Yeah, he's older now in that one, I think, because it takes place in 2018. This is 20, 2006. Like 12 years into the future, he literally helps Ichiban and gives him a home. Oh, that's pretty cool of him. See, this guy is lit. I like to think that Kashiwagi is literally the fucking is literally just the guardian angel of all the fucking Yakuza protagonists because <laughs> he's just like he's always there to help them. Yeah, he'll beat the shit out of you a couple times, but he's a cool dude. Uh huh? Specifically? Nothing. Just gonna keep doing my thing. Mm. Utsumatsu is not likely to take to take to take a sight like that lying down. Slight like that, sorry. You know. Be careful, would you? Uh. Sure. Come on, just let me I, I just wanna I just wanna use the mad dog stance. Ajima don't care that it's rainy, he'll still Ajimo does not give a shit about what weather is. He's been wearing the same outfit for, since 1988. You think he gives a fuck about the weather? Another great day at the office, boss. Nishida Anaki. Yeah, Nishida Anaki. And the other is uh, headed back. What the fuck is with the camera? It's like inverted. I, I press left and it moves. Okay, that's weird. Alright. I'm ready to rule if you are. Oh, it's. Was it the bumper? What the fuck did I press? It just like fucking jolted me back. Oh, well, who cares? I'm ready to roll out if you are, sir. Now. Who cares? Donut Chun de Shone. Tojo Kaiwa. Huh? Yeah, so. 登場会改革とか言ってましたけど、何でもかんでも金で判断するっつうのはどうなんすかね。植松さんとか飯渕さんとか信頼できると思います。新入りのお前が心配するようなことちゃうやろ。そ、そうっすよね。すいません。ま、登場会の五代目は寺田や。あいつが黒といえば黒白といえば白それが俺たちの生きとる極道っちゅう社会やあいつが信頼しとるんやったらそれでええやろま俺はどっちもうさんくさくて正直すかんがの俺もそう思いますだから登場会の若頭には親父になってほしいっす俺は若頭になる気なんてさらさらないでえそうなんですか当たり前や寺田みたいなうさんくさい男と俺がうまくやれるはずないやろが
寺田は側近の植松を若頭にしたいんやろ登場会改革も結局は自分に都合のいいやつを幹部に揃えるための口実や I mean, we are criminals. We do we, rigging shit is all the is what we do. The fuck, we're criminals. Ain't no honor in this. Bro, you look the same since 1988. You look nothing changed. You're not aging. Literally in 12 years, he still looks the fucking same. Nobody ages in Yakuza. Akira is in his 50s in Yakuza, and the only thing that changes about him is he, he dyes his hair at one point. That's it. They're like, how do we make Kiryu look old? I don't know. Give him a fuck. Give him that fucking haircut the guy from Persona 4 has. I've got to find a parking spot, boss. May as well head back. May as well head back to the office. The Majima Empire ain't gonna run itself. Apologies note for the blind note. The Kazuma family. Wait, if you concur with the sentiment and would be interested in contributing, please deposit a hundred thousand yen to this account at the fuck? Aiding with Kiryu, with Kiryu souvenirs. I could, like, yeah, by contributing to Kiryu. Through the convenience store, you can receive the items at equal. Oh, okay, okay, so it's like Mr. Moneybags, but instead of an eccentric crazy guy, it's uh, we go to an ATM. Yeah, Mr. Money, I don't care what anybody says. Mr. Moneybags is fucking insane. By the way, do I, I don't have any stats. Okay, no. I want to. There's one thing I want to do, but I don't know if we have access to it. Because it's because it's over here, the fucking karaoke. Ain't nobody want to put. Oh wait, 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 wait! No. What song is this? We gotta see. As Majima, this is probably our only chance to sing as Majima, so we gotta see. We gotta see what he has for his songs. I'm all by my lonesome. They're playing Blocky Mitai in the background. You hear that? It's nice. Does Majima sing? Yeah, I know how to play. I know how to do the karaoke. The song we have as long as you're happy I would is this about Makoto yeah we're gonna oh god is this I think this actually is about my it's Majima's ex-girlfriend Makoto she's the reason why Majima went fucking crazy well, aside from that guy he met in prison Oh my god, it's a mini Kiryu still. God, it is about her. Oh, 
せなら幸せなら俺は変わる何度だって何にだって祈ろう I love you I love you 忘れないでよなんて言わねえさ I love you I love you それで明日も君が幸せならいつまでも君が幸せなら That ending is so fucking depressing, though, in all honesty, for Majima. Majima, out of Kiryu and Majima, Majima has a fucking depressing ending. This is a whole game. He falls in love with this girl. And by the end of the- she's blind, by the way. And that is a- that is a key point in the story. He's a first supposed to kill her. But he ends up, instead, feeling bad for her. And over the course of the game, he starts falling in love with the girl. To the point where at the end of the game, it's revealed she actually she actually is now seeing somebody and when she finally meets up with them again, she doesn't recognize his voice. And it's just like, ah, and it hits you. It hits you in the fucking feels, man. Like, oh, you feel bad for him. And then he goes fucking crazy for the next 35 years. I think it's a good place to stop. That was actually really nice. Already, they said it's like two and a half hours, so I could probably get it done in one stream. Stream, excuse me. <clears throat> but that was nice. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube later, I want to thank you so much for making it to the end of the video, and I will see you next time.